Like previous cellular networks, 5G has its set of vulnerabilities. So today we're going to be exploring this set of vulnerabilities and how they can impact cellular networks. So to start with, we'll be exploring the radio interface, the communication between the user equipment and the cell site. And one of these vulnerabilities is jamming, where we block the communication between the user equipment and the cell site. And this can lead into what we call a downgrade attack, where the user equipment is downgraded to using 4G, for example. And then a malicious actor can then exploit vulnerabilities that exist for 4G. And we also have man in the middle attacks where a malicious actor can eavesdrop on the communication between the user equipment and the cell site. And as we look deeper into the cellular network, we can see there are vulnerabilities for both the radio network and the core network as both of them can implement cloud technology. And this means that they have inherited vulnerabilities from the cloud. And an example of this is the misconfiguration of identity and access management systems. And this misconfiguration is responsible for 61% of cyber attacks in the cloud. And we can also take into account the supply chain that exists with implementing cloud technology. We're utilizing a cloud service provider's infrastructure and also inheriting their supply chain, the hardware that they purchase, the software that they purchase, and then the services or applications that they purchase and host in the cloud for us. And therefore, there are more security concerns with cloud technology. And next, we can also look at multi-access edge computing. And with multi-access edge computing, it takes a decentralized approach, meaning it is geographically dispersed. So from a physical security standpoint, these services or the multi-access edge services are a lot harder to protect. And also they have limited resources in comparison to a centralized data center. So implementing security tools and techniques is a much more complex and a much harder process. We need to implement multi-access edge computing security tools and software, which is more lean in terms of computational resources. And so all of this in combination is a common list of vulnerabilities which exist for 5G cellular networks.